I thought this woman was about to say somebody that she could get with. I thought she was going to say a rapper in her city. You are going to think these same things as you watch. You are going to be sadly surprised that nope, nope, it's somebody else. So uh, if you watch the Kendra G singles lives, you'll see all kind of characters on there. You'll see people who are really good candidates for dating and you'll see some people who they done lost their damn mind when it comes to dating. If you don't know who Kendra G is, she has like a 20 year career already in media, TV, radio. Kendra says she is not a dating coach, but she is a journalist who happens to run a dating show. I seen this lady on here and I said, woman what now you don't want to say the rapper's name so how are you going to use my my platform to get his attention the thing is the card when i sent the edibles the card got rained on because it rained i mean i'll tell you where the card got mailed but i just don't want to say who it is how do you know his address it was leaked online a long time ago girl that's a stalker that's like literally the definition of a stalker you a stalker stalker a person who harasses or persecutes someone with unwanted and obsessive attention second definition of stalker a person who hunts game stealthily shall we so shall we learn what stealth means stealth yo ass be sneaky how it was there it was in a public record i didn't go looking for it it was just there a friend of mine knows that i'm in love with him and seen it so she sent it to me you see how none of this story makes sense? It was leaked on public record. You went to public record because it ain't like public record sends out weekly emails to everybody and says, hey y'all, we just want to let y'all know the new update on everybody's shit that's going on publicly. We just want to give y'all a quick update, let y'all know what was going on, what was going on. That's not how public records work. You have to actually go search it, type it in, find the record, find the correct record based off of name, birthday, address, maybe if you have the last four of a social security number or license or a plate number. You have to go use one of those combos then find the correct person then go through that record to find their address after you get past whatever is on their record girl she sent me this dm says kendra i actually have a question i need a little advice i delivered edible arrangements to someone that's a celebrity hoping to get their attention i try to think outside the box and i know for people who are rich and famous Sometimes people in their circle forget about them. I get she's trying to show a man who's very successful that she has more to offer him. For her to say, I don't know if anybody is caring about him, so I wanted to send him an edible arrangement. If he's a famous rapper, somebody or some people on payroll who are caring about him, I guarantee it. But I'm honestly so attracted to him. If he didn't have the fame or the money, I would still want him anyways. Right. Just thought I would see what, what you think, please. Um, Girlfriend, I would suggest, I'm gonna be honest with you, stop. You're doing too much. Right. Stalkerish, honey. I don't expect him to diss every woman in the world. I was just hoping that it would bring some, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, would see, like be curious who sent it. Like, if someone sent me something to my house, I would then, uh, my next phone call would be the police of how do they have my address? I mean, right, I didn't go, I didn't go there because again, I would be embarrassed and again i wouldn't know what to say i don't do that you sent a whole edible arrangement to the man's house while you may not have shown up you had enough access to send it to his house i mean <laughs> that's a lot you don't want to date a regular guy i am I, I mean i'm interested in that too but i just feel like what i am I, I mean i'm interested in that too but i just feel like oh so you are so you are dating somebody the regular guys that i'm interested in i mean or that i've that are interested in me it's like they text too much and it's like they come on too strongly um so you out here trying to see what's out here you say look i might have got somebody at home but i'm still looking outside oh girl i used to be her i used to be her i used to be like man i do not want a man who is always texting and calling me because you ain't got no life you ain't got nothing to do. Now, I would rather have a man who is super in my face than a man who's not in my face enough or a man who's hella nonchalant. Can't tell me his feelings. Can't tell me what he's thinking. Doesn't like to communicate. Just likes to bang, 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 but don't like to do anything else. No, drop down in the comments if you're like that too. Or if you're not. What do you want with this rapper? I would just love like a date night with him and just see what happens. That's it, you know, I, I can't promise anything else because I don't know him. But now on this date, would you pay for the date? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> she said no 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 <laughs> girl hell no F no no girl no bitch <laughs>
but not my money. I want him to know that I want him to take me out. And when he takes me out, then he needs to pay for me and him to go out so he can see what I'm about and if he likes me. He need to do that, okay? Duh. Ooh. Do you not think you're coming across as a groupie? No, because I've met him before, but I was so afraid of rejection. We were at the club. So I gave him the gift and I ran away. Wait, I thought you sent him the gift. That's the edibles I sent. But when I met him at the club. What gift did you give him at the club? Polo boxers and a polo scarf. Have a crush on me. Okay, girl, because I like gifts. I like presents. I like edible arrangements. You said I'm the type of woman who gives my man gifts, okay? Ain't no holding back once you my man. Did you guys have a conversation? No, I think he was, honestly, I think he was hot. Sound about right. Now, was it a club appearance he had? Yes. And exactly. you handed him the polo boxers and then you walked away? Yes. So you made two attempts and I'm, I'm assuming that you leave your contact? The second one I definitely did, but it rained. But I know that he has a camera right there that like when you drive in, you can see. So you, you, you think edible arrangements doesn't know how to protect stuff in rain? No, the guy called me when he was there and he goes, um, he has like a gate blocking his, um, his thing and no one's home. So he left it on the side of his mailbox. The fact that she's acting surprised that edible arrangements couldn't get within this famous rapper's home to deliver some damn fruit on toothpicks is wild. You could you could see the surprise in her face. Like, can you believe it? They done got there. The boy called me. He say outside the gate. He can't get through the gate to get the edible arrangement up there. So you know what happened. It started to rain. Soft jazz music started to play in the background and everything that was written on the handmade car that I got from Tijuana, it, it started to melt away and it, you know, melted down into the soil never to be seen again. So now, Kendra, I'm here to get your help because my first two gift giving attempts didn't work. So here I am. Well, all men that you've liked in the past, were you, were you this aggressive? Did you buy them gifts and stuff in the beginning? No. So why are you buying him gifts? I see exactly what Kendra is saying right here because if you haven't done this for no other man, then why are you doing this now for this dude? So you're coming up here, you're not gonna say his name and you're trying to get a message across to a rapper. When, when'd you go to the club? November. So his birthday's in November. What city? The club in Miami. Someone said, someone said his future, his birthday's November 20th. It's future. What? <laughs> <laughs> now we get to my favorite part, the paid questions. The one. Cece said, just curious, how do you know if he has cameras if you never actually went to his address? When the, when the, the delivery driver delivered it, um, he put the camera that way and he, it, you could see the camera. I've never had them video call me and be like, look, I can't even get past the gate. Who did you ride with to Future's house to try and deliver that edible arrangement that you made in your homegirl kitchen and or purchased off a of Facebook marketplace? Who took you down there? The Uber driver or your friend or your homegirl? Tamaka said, I said, um, I said she looking to screw and give him a baby. No, I'm not. Is that your friend? Yeah, this is my friend. Okay, let me, let me talk to your friend. This, this be the problem. Oh shit. You don't think what your friend is doing is uh, is is crazy? I don't think so. No. We Tell don't me think why. Anything is possible. As a real estate broker, we see things all the time. Whoa, 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 whoa. What we're not gonna do is make these major ass comparisons. As a real estate broker, we see crazy things all the time. How does being a real estate broker have anything to do with your homegirl getting with future? Okay, I thought so, it don't. She sees people sending ar edible arrangements. We see stuff all the time, so it's not crazy. Well, okay, so do you think that, okay, have you, do you know any success stories with rappers that this has happened to? This is gonna be a success story, mark all words. Mark all words. This will be your first success story, but as a real estate broker, my friend sees it all the time. We see these things all the time, as Tampa. Okay, well hold on real quick, well hold on. I, I, I have a few success stories from the show, so it, it would not be the first success story. And I'm asking you as her friends, you're saying you as a real estate, do you guys honestly just as her friends feel as though her having his address, which he didn't give to her, she which goes part? to send him an edible arrangement. You don't think he would think that this is a stalker? No, no. We, we, we believe she's thinking outside the box. At the end of the day, we know these, it, it may come across as a stalker, but we we see it as thinking outside the box. Just like when that girl threw that bra at Drake, that was outside the box. I know who they've been listening to. Stormy damn Wellington. She's the one to try to use these phrases that'll get people motivated to spend $10,000 for two weeks in Cancun being judged because you got barbecue on a paper plate. And guess what? That girl got to deal with Victoria's Secret. Anything is possible. You never know what could be the one thing that makes you successful. You never know where she's in it for fun. She's not trying to get married to him. 
then why are you doing all this? You doing all this to have fun? Girl, I can get you a dude who look just like Future right now for the right price. Whatever you spend on that polo, that edible arrangement, let's add that up, uh, calculate shipping and handling. I can get you the dudes you're looking for. Real quick, what was the story you gave about Drake? What was the example? When that girl threw that big old bra on stage with Drake, nobody knew she was gonna turn into a Victoria, Victoria's Secret model. She thought outside the box. Okay, but right now your friend is trying to get Future to date her seriously. That's okay. a different goal. You never know. Let me tell you something. Brawl Throw it ain't been successful since the Kings of Comedy in 2000. It took 20 something years for one more Brawl Throw to be successful. 20 something. And it failed flat on its face a couple of years later when Offset did that. So ain't no more opportunities gonna come from some crazy wild shit. If anything, people are gonna start getting more locked down about their security. That's what's gonna happen. I mean, my friend looks very good. The only thing you, at the end of the day, the only thing you need is the right place at the right time. They have um, producers in the industry that she got access to. Okay, so let me ask you that. Okay, so, okay, so real quick, if y'all have other links, producers, why didn't y'all go that route? If y'all know people that know him for real, because why she not go there you. instead of calling me? He really respects you. Like, I don't watch your show, but I'm okay, going to move forward. You know, but he listen, really respects you and want to go through you. Do the Kendrick here. Okay, here. Yeah. Yeah, okay. bad as hell. Don't play with it. Okay. You do have a nice shape. Yes, the girl is beautiful. She has a great shape. She looks like she has a lot of energy. I don't think the focus needs to be how to get with Future, though. And if a person that knows him directly tells you not to do it... That's not what he, No, huh? that's not what he said. Jealousy. He never passed the message. Jealousy, the one he said, I don't think you should do it because... You know what I'm saying? Like, if you just want, like, a, a fuck thing. Because he wants you, girl. Right, but he never even presented the offer. He's like, you're a nice girl. I don't think that you should go that route. Why would you want to be just a, a plaything in his circus? What's your name, Krishan? Girl, no, you don't want that. He never even presented, you know what I'm saying, or, or did anything. Not saying that, I, you know what I'm saying, I, I want him to. I'm just saying, like, you know what I'm saying, you don't, you're not going to just stop there. I mean, but case after this, I mean, it's not like I'm trying to do anything. I just wanted to bring it to your attention to have you pass the message across because i would be curious like who sent this we're not delusional just because she it's gonna be but, but you know what don't don't respond to the comments because again it's always going to be something right okay this person said west mode 40 women keep women single she needs new friends you need new friends because you don't have a you're you're not living in a reality world you have to be different if that's delusion some one person's delusion is another person's reality like that's insane for you guys to say that you're, you're supposed to sit at home and wait for a celebrity to find you. No, sometimes you have to go out there and find a celebrity. Hey, okay, we gonna stop right there. You can literally watch the rest by clicking the link in the description box. I can't believe uh, you got somebody who's right, right there, right there with Future, telling her, I know how this dude get down. He just wants fuck things. That's what he wants. He wanna stick his thing in a hole. That's all he gonna want off you. He's trying to override what somebody who knows Future is already saying. Don't do that. I don't know what our homegirl was thinking. I do think she's delusional. I now see delusion in a lot of women who are expecting this caliber of man that just isn't within their reach. It, this is not the type of dude that you'll see walking down the street. She's not going to be in the same neighborhood as Future and run into him at Whole Foods. That's just not realistic. Not that type of dude. Somebody who looked like Future, like I said, I got a Kansas City Future for you if you need one, girl. Somebody who looks like Future, yes. Absolutely, absolutely. The real future? No, absolutely not. I could be wrong. Drop your comments down below. Drop your thoughts down below. Let me know what you're thinking. I'm so thankful that you tuned in. So thankful that you come by every time I drop a video just to tune in, to laugh with me, to see what's going on. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the Just Case and Brand, and make sure you're following me across all of my social medias at the Just Case and Brand. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.